The anime started with, Tomo Aizawa is expressing her romantic feelings to Janikara Kubota, her childhood friend. She confesses that she already confessed to him when they started high school, hoping he would return her feelings. Instead, June only laughs and fist bumps her, telling her that he loves her too. Tomo wonders if he could ever see her as more than just a friend. Tomo and June were next-door neighbors but attended different schools, June didn't realize Tomo were a girl until June saw Tomo wearing a skirt in middle school. They started walking to school together after that, and their relationship seems more like that of siblings than potential love interests. Tomo is worried that she won't be able to convince June to change his opinion of her. She asks her friend Misuzu Gundu to speak to June on her behalf, but Misuzu refuses. She believes that Tomo deserves the way June is treating her after years of acting like a tomboy. Misuzu suggests that Tomo try softening her tone around June, but when she does, June laughs and accuses her of speaking like an old man. The two begin to roughhouse, and Tomo punches him. Tomo's father, Goro, is concerned about the bruises on her face. She explains that she got into a fight with June but didn't win. Goro scolds her for losing, and she wonders how she could ever beat June when her father taught him karate. Tomo argues that the fight could never be fair because she's a girl. Goro orders her to train in the family dojo to stop saying those things. June doesn't understand why Tomo is still upset with him the next day, despite apologizing. He tries to lighten the mood by tickling her, which only leads to him getting assaulted again. He apologizes and says it's not the same when she's ignoring him. Tomo reveals that this is something he does every time they fight, which makes her blush. She immediately forgives him. He celebrates with a fist bump, calling them besties, oblivious to Tomo's reaction. When Misuzu notices that Tomo and June are spending every waking moment together, she decides to invite them both to lunch. It's quickly revealed that there's a lot of tension between Misuzu and June. Despite this, June agrees to eat with them. He even steals food off of Tomo chopsticks, flustering her. June's friend Tanabe asks him about his relationship with Tomo. He wonders how long they have been together and if they are playing the forbidden contact sport. June mistakes it for a karate reference and Misuzu overhears them. She warns Tomo about it and she freaks out on June. Later in that afternoon, it's begun to rain. Misuzu and June are waiting for Tomo to share her umbrella. They reflect on how their relationship has changed over time, they used to be close, but they grew apart somewhere along the line. Misuzu starts asking June some personal questions, like why he never joined a club in school or what he would do if Tomo got a boyfriend. The more she presses him on the latter question, the more upset June gets until he eventually pushes her out into the rain. A few seconds later, Tomo walks out. Tomo is surprised when June and Misuzu tell her they forgot their umbrellas. June tries to get Tomo to leave with him, but she offers her umbrella to Misuzu instead. Misuzu refuses to walk with Tomo, encouraging her to go with June. Tomo reluctantly agrees, allowing June to hold her umbrella. Tomo is nervous, walking far from June despite getting rained on. He encourages her to move in closer, but she refuses. Tomo said that she just come from working up a sweat at her club practice. When June leans in, assuring her she doesn't smell bad, but nice. Tomo gets so embarrassed she takes off running. When June catches up to her, Tomo is soaking wet, and her white button-up shirt has become drenched. For once, he finds himself flustered and immediately gives her umbrella back before running away. In the karate club, Tomo accidentally knocks out her karate captain, Kusuk Misaki. When she apologizes, he says it's no problem. In fact, he feels bad that she has to practice with the boys' karate club but Tomo reveals that on the her first day, she knocked a girl out and no one will practice with her anymore. This makes Tomo feel like a failure as a girl, but Misaki assures her that's not true. He's the first person to ever say that to her, so she asks him what seems girly about her. He's too flustered by her to respond at first, but he eventually assures her she's fine the way she is and should have more confidence in herself. After the club ended, several girls see Tomo speaking with Misaki, and they got jealous. Misuzu teases June about Tomo having a new male friend. Although at first, he seems unbothered, he brings it up when he and Tomo are sharing a textbook later. Tomo realizes he's asking about the captain of her karate club and goes to show June a picture, but June mistaking him for a female and giving him a false sense of comfort. June then asks Tomo how would she feel if her one only female friend, Misuzu, got a boyfriend and became consumed in their relationship. 
Although Tomo doesn't think that would happen, she thinks that she would probably be feeling lonely. After hearing that, Jun immediately agreed with that idea, which made Tomo really confused. At the vending machine, Mifune and Ogawa, which are the two of Misaki's admirers, approach Tomo. They demand to talk to her after school, but Tomo misunderstand them, she thinks that they want to fight and undermines them. The young ladies start asking a few questions about Tomo, only to hear about a young lady that Tomo took out in the karate club, after hearing that they realize they need to apologize. Back in the class, Tomo, however, is excited about the upcoming fight with girls, but Misuzu says that it's doubtful that the girls have the gut to do more than argue with her. After school Tomo meets up with Mifune and Ogawa, she is ready to fight. But the two girls are so scared as they ask Tomo to back down. However, Tomo say that she will back down only after she knows exactly what their next move is. They tell her that they like Misaki. Tomo then drops her pose. She thinks that they just want to ask her for love advice which make her more than excited to help them. Mifune and Ogawa find themselves feeling weirdly reassured by her help for some reason. The next day, they watch Tomo talking with Misuzu from the other end of the hall. After Misuzu see them, she tells Tomo that back in the middle school, people called Tomo, the natural lady killer. Tomo then reply but she never killed anyone before. Jun then come and wraps his arm around her. Upon seeing her blush, Mifune and Ogawa realize that she is really a girl, after all.